Adelaiding Cats hosting the rising stars from Carlton. Weapons across both midfields, even more potent in their forward lines. What a game to look forward to. And we get to preview it tonight with the reigning Coleman medalist, Harry Mackay. He is at the desk with us. I wonder if that Geelong fan's going to be there at the MCG on Saturday night. The, I hope so. Did you pick the music then? No, I didn't. Why would I pick that song? Oh, I just thought you would. Oh. Yeah. Harry, welcome. Thanks for having me, everyone. Yeah. What a big be... weekend. Is this going to be the biggest game of your career so far, do you I think? No, you just asked that before. It'd be up there, I reckon. Um, expecting a big crowd as a Carlton home game, so maybe 70,000, 80,000. Um, been saying all week, it's just nice to be playing in games that are really important this time of year. So for my kind of seven or eight years, with yeah. this time of year, we've kind of been thinking about the holidays, Rue. But um, <laughs> yeah, it's nice to be in games that matter. So footy feels different this year, but based on your ladder position and the fact that you guys are, are being talked about as a as a premiership chance, really? Yeah, absolutely. As I said, I, in my time, I haven't really had that. So um, to be well alive in the year and um, playing in these big games is really exciting. And um, the club feels like a bit of a different place. And Carlton fans, yeah, you see them around the place, they're pretty up and about, so yeah, it's a really good time. What, what, what's it like for, for someone that got drafted in 2015, and you're a big lad, so you, so you stand out, yeah. for the club to get recognition now, but also you as a, a player and a person more recognisable when you're, when you're outside the club as well, what's it been like to have that transition? Yeah, it's interesting, I guess, as a young kid, something you don't really think about too much, and then, I guess, as you progress up and play better footy, it's something that comes with it, but I still think, Geordie, it's like, People come up and ask for a photo, and part of me is like, why do you want my photo? <laughs> yeah. Just a kid from Oregon. But, um, yeah, I think it's something that AFL players do pretty well, and um, it's something that yeah, you get used to. Surely, it's surely it's a few more perks, though. Like, you've won a Coleman oh. now. and It's in the COVID year, so I didn't really... You couldn't, couldn't cash in. Couldn't cash in afterwards. Any, but... any sponsorships come knocking? Um, a couple, but you don't want to sell your soul either, Cass, so you've got to be, got to be careful. <laughs> well, don't worry, plenty have. Yeah. Well, the next time you two catch up for coffee, it'll probably be you shouting. Tell us about, I don't know, we're third, fourth wheel right here oh, at no. the moment, Geordie, but you two have struck up a bit well, of a relationship. Well, we, got, we grabbed a coffee. Oh, you were a bit of a junior burger then. You hadn't really yeah. uh, hit your straps, but... 2018, maybe? Yeah. We, yeah. Well, I'm not, what, I'm not, taking, prompts, I'm not taking any sort of credit. No, because we, we do see current day players reaching out to, to, to ex-players that maybe they want to emulate or love the way that they play. What, what prompted it and how hard was it to, to reach out? Yeah, I think um, since I started at the club as well, it's been really good, but kind of encouraging to explore how good you can be and um, look at every avenue to get better. And um, yeah, I think from a key forward point of view, there was a lot of guys um, that were in the competition and had just finished. Um, especially in my role, I think it's a very crafty position and there's a lot of little elements you can work on. So. Um, there's probably four or five guys I caught up with and um, yeah, tried to pick their brains a little bit and, and learn the craft and Nick was good enough for his time to sit down with me which was, um, which was really awesome and yeah, there's a few guys I reached out to and I'm really thankful that they were able to um, catch up with me so I really enjoyed it, yeah. So that's something you, you've thought of whilst just watching a few of these past plays and thinking I'll take it upon myself to, to reach out and, and catch up with them because I know that both of you have said across the times that there are players who reach out and you catch up with and you know that perhaps their development coaches told them to do so and others who, who take it upon themselves. Yeah, yeah, you're correct. There's sometimes a bit of a box tick, but um, <laughs> I've always enjoyed watching um, kind of the best key forwards in the games and picking parts of their game to, um, to learn from. I know I'm, I'm different and I'm not exactly the same as other players, but I mean, if you can get an opportunity and with the networks and the coaches, um, yeah, an opportunity to sit down with some of the greats of the game and yeah. some great key forwards yeah. is... Is, um, really good. You were one out as a key forward last year, won the Coleman. This year you've got a you've got a wingman. So first of all, who's Maverick and who's Goose? Yeah, it's a good question. I'll say Charlie can be Maverick. I'll be Goose. I'm oh, happy. see, what, Charlie, what, a, what, a what a selfless team! Man. What a selfless teammate. And I'm happy to be Robin. So, but but how does it feel? How does it feel to to have someone else out there with you? And what what do you do? Like if you can feel Charlie's really hot within a game, do you say okay, I'm going to give you some space, you be the man, or is it? I want to get a lick of the ice cream too. Get get me in the spot. Yeah, so I think last year, um, kind of being probably the only, I guess the main key forward, had some help with Levi and some other guys. But uh, yeah, I felt like it was it was pretty hard in terms of you had a lot of guys investing in the air and kind of dropping back in your space. And it was, you, know, you might take a couple, but you've been a lot of contests and kind of um, it took its toll a little bit and you get to the back end of the year and it was a bit of a grind. But um, with Charlie this year, some of the football he's been playing, yeah, to be able to work together and have someone that can, as you said, I can just get out of there and Charlie can be the man that's really hot um, and vice versa. So, 
it's been so much fun playing with him. I love that he's um, playing really good footy and hopefully we can do it for a few more years to come. That, that's the most um, evident thing when you do Carlton games and you, and you watch and you see Charlie do well. You're quite often in the background smiling and enjoying seeing your teammate do really well. It must be a great quality of, of not only yourself, but certainly Charlie does it when you're hot. Yeah, absolutely. I think it's funny when I kick a goal or Charlie kicks a goal, the first thing we say is, all right, you get the next one, let's get you one. So <laughs> I think we're nearly, especially Charlie, he's more excited when I kick a goal than when he does. And I think that's a really good, I guess, trait that um, we're pretty selfless forward line. And it's not just Charlie and I. I think a lot of the other guys like um, Corey Durden, Matt Owies, Jesse Montlop's come in, Jack Silvani. I think Ash Hansen's come in as a forward coach. And we've talked about um, it's us that kicks the goal, not just one player, and um, we're celebrating kind of the lead-up of the events that get to that goal, and something we do really well internally is highlighting those guys and the kind of the selfless things. I asked you what Ash Hansen was like as a forwards coach and how good he was and if he could be a senior coach one day, and you don't want to talk about that because you don't want him to leave. So yeah, we so won't... He's not very good, don't go after <laughs> yeah, him. So we won't pump up Ash Hansen, but talk to me about Michael Voss, because you weren't even born when he won his brown low, and I think you were about four, five, six years old when he led Brisbane to the three-peat. But yeah. explain to me the, the inspirational factor that comes with having a player like that, now your, your coach. Yeah, Vossi, um, he's been amazing. And, yeah, obviously such an such a amazing career as a player. And then to, um, to go and have a bit of experience as coaching and then come back and work on himself and to get another opportunity as a senior coach was, was really great to see. And um, I can't speak highly enough of him, to be honest. I think since he walked in the door, he's... He's been amazing, he's changed the place um, in a really good way and yeah, first of all, he's, his care for the players has been fantastic. Um, his ability to create an environment where everyone feels comfortable to, to be at their best and be themselves has been first class and um, yeah, I've really enjoyed my time under Vossi so far. Talk to me about your goal kicking, mate, because it is a big responsibility to, to be at that end of the ground and to finish off everyone's hard work up the ground. The midfielders don't like it when we miss it. Never get enough credit. No, that, <laughs> the, the key forwards? No, it mids. Oh, right, OK. <laughs> um, so so you, you're unique in the fact that you go around the corner a lot. Yeah. So you take a mark 40 metres out. We've got, some, we've got some vision here that we're going to roll. You take a mark about 40 metres out, you go back... It's a great catch, this one, too, by the way. It's like a slips catch. <laughs> At what point do you think, OK, I'm so far out now that I'm going to go around the corner or, or I'm going to go back and kick a drop punt? Is that, is that sort of your threshold right there? Did you chip? What, what's that vision? Well, I'm saying that's, that's right on the threshold. We could, have one he, we could have picked one that he kicked. <laughs> we want him to enjoy this experience yeah. or he'll never you come gotta, back. You've got you to gotta, you gotta face some music sometimes. So what's, 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 going, what's going through your head in those moments? Yeah, so I think it's something, especially probably the last two or three weeks, it's come to light a little bit more, but kind of that 40 to 50, kind of that, that mark of when you're going to do a drop hunt and um, when you're going to snap the ball. And it's something I've probably done a bit of work on the last couple of weeks. So it's probably a few things that come into it. I think especially a few that I've had have been late in games as well. So fatigue, um, legs are a bit heavy kind of thing. So, And then kind of working backwards in terms of to get the ball to come back from that distance, it's, it's pretty hard. So... Speaking about Ash Hansen, we've talked a little bit about it's not that like I can't snap the ball from 40, but it's the probability of doing it four out of five times. Um, so, yeah, we've done a bit of work the last week or two in terms of it's probably a more of a drop punt from 40 plus. Yeah. Um, so, that kind of more four times out of five, you're going to get bang for buck for that. But, yeah, as you said, it's something that I'm a little bit new, uh, unique in in terms of snapping the ball, but I think it's something that's um, probably going to happen going forward a bit more and um, it's something I'm comfortable with. So, yeah, I think it's here to stay. Whether people like it or not, Kat. That's great. <laughs> that, 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 second, part, yeah, second part to that. How, how, how hard was it to, to stay with it, understanding that the criticism would come? Yeah. I think, because I've done a lot of work on it, I was always pretty comfortable and confident in my process and my routine. So I did a lot of work, especially over the 2020 to 2021 summer. And it's not that I... Um, a few people say it's a bit of a cop-out going around the corner and, and whatnot, but it's more just in terms of getting the result, it just gives me the best chance. It and works. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, as I said, I know optically it can be um, frustrating for people a little bit, but, yeah, it's something that's here to stay. We're, we're new age. We like it. I was going to say, Rubel, yeah. you, yeah. as someone who kicked a lot of goals, I was wondering whether you've looked back and see what the modern player does now and thought... I like it. You like it? I would, like would you it. have done it, do you reckon? Well, I've started to go that way towards the end of my career yeah. with probably a bit more success. I wish I, wish I had the guts <laughs> to go earlier, Jordy. I might have kicked a bit straighter. Well, Maybe. I'll make sure that we'll play more of your highlights Thank next you time you're much, on, Kat. but great to have you uh, here at the desk. Enjoy <laughs> well, what is probably the biggest game of your career so far, the Cats and Blues Saturday night, the MCG, and following that, best on ground.